Yo, your girl Little Bacon Bear hanging out with another winner of KYS Versus with a guest feature of a young man that I've definitely seen before. We got Spaceman and JMB Music. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? Familiar faces. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess I should start off by asking you, Spaceman, how has quarantine, quarantine treated you thus far? Um, It's, <laughs> I guess, being locked up in a sense is great because I've just been working nonstop, so... I will say I go on the record by saying that you definitely have been working a long stop, uh, not long stop. Well, let me get my words together. Nonstop because of the fact that uh, I was doing another KYS versus interview and they were like, yeah, my engineer here, my man, space is in here. I said, wait, no, is it the spaceman? I know. And sure enough, it was him. So that's always a good thing when you see a person working at the same spot and still making forward movement in the thing that they love, you know? Appreciate that. Yeah, that was a little Nigel. Yeah, good old little Nigel. Now, uh, JMB Music, talk to me about the past six months for quarantine for you. Um, man, the past six months for me, it's been it's been good. I feel like the downtime or you know the the isolated time has allowed me to really yeah it's, yeah it's allowed me to work, but it's also allowed me to like just mentally like space out and figure out some things and where I want to take things and just work on like you know just myself for real. So it's been it's been cool. It's been it's it's been cool for me. You know what I'm saying. I definitely think that it's been a, per- a period of like collecting yourself and getting your bearings so that you can like return back better. And that's the way that I like to think about it. Yeah, absolutely. Are we going to return back better? Hell, I don't know. But we could try, that's right? We could put that's something into it. <laughs> absolutely. Now, Spaceman, of course, you stepped into verses with the record Dreaming. Tell me about it. Man, so <laughs> I made that beat Christmas morning because I was literally <laughs> in a bad mood. And I'm like, it's Christmas. I shouldn't feel down. So I made a beat that put me in a better mood. He, JMB pulled up the very next day and then I was like, yo, who's on this job? I and need to hop started, on it. <laughs> and me and we started coming up with the melody. Immediately. Well, tell me this. You guys can both tell me from a different viewpoint, both as a producer and as an artist. When you hear a beat, how do you know that it is the one that one for you? You know what I mean? How do you know it's the winning beat when you're making it? And how do you know it's the winning beat when you're about to perform it? Um... With the beats, is like when I literally know I can listen to this beat without even hearing anybody on it, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a hit. So if you get the right person on it, it's going to the moment. It's a hit! And yeah. JMB, how do you know, how do you pick a beat and just know it's supposed to be for you? Uh, for, for me, really, I, I go based off of a feeling. Like, uh, I think I was coming in on the tail end of when he was making it. And, you know, I'm just chilling in the studio, and I'm just like, yo, this sounds crazy. And then the way I create, I just start singing and yelling melodies and ideas and then i was like yeah bro you gotta let me write this <laughs> write write something on it for you bro um, and so y'all met in the middle mm-hmm. yeah. well you know i will say that something that's special about both of you guys is that anytime that i've encountered you it is always i don't want to say it's been in a group setting but it's always been in a team work space you know what mm-hmm. i mean that you're be- being willing to tap on other artists tap on other engineers uh, other producers just to get the job done talk to me about the importance of like good relationship building uh, I think it's perfect with us because, like, since we literally known each other all our lives, like, it's kind of like bread and butter in a sense. So we kind of already know how each other's personality was. Like, he actually came to me because after he did, you know, his verse and then the hook, like, he was like, I was like, who else should we put on it? He was like, why don't you get on it? Hey, you so, <laughs> I'm on, like, the second verse, actually, I guess, spitting, singing. Like, I was like, man, this is... <laughs> I didn't know that that was one of your talents. How about that? Hey, it's, <laughs> I'm a man of many talents for sure. Yeah, what? nah, he uh, he definitely he definitely can hop on a, a track. But uh, I think it's I think like you said it. We we know each other for a long time. But what I just realized too, like being in Atlanta and being here, like with the industry, it's like man, it's better to work across. It's better to work with people that have mutual respect for you and see value in what you're doing. And then if y'all just continue to do that and build, eventually. You know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll, it'll elevate. So that's kind of where my mindset has been as far as that. My mom always says only peers can exist mm-hmm. together. So you got to be equally yoked. When somebody's leveled over the other one is when things start getting weird. But when you're equally yoked, you can only succeed right. from there. So I'm definitely excited to see that y'all are still in a great collaborative yeah, sure space, I, you know? I sure. now, now, Spaceman, like I said, I think this was the first song that I actually heard you not as a producer, not as an engineer, not as like a behind the scenes person, but on the forefront of a record. Was that like nerve wracking for you or is this something that you do? Uh, I didn't know this was your yeah, trade. It's, it's low key something I do on the low. Like I used to want to be an artist growing up, but um, I was like, I feel like I can make 
more bread and have longevity if I just music more because yeah. that's what I do anyway. But I'm not afraid to get on the mic at all. So like if anybody <laughs> ever needed a feature or anything for sure, I would have that. But I'm still not trying to pursue like a solo artist right you know career. Do you think that your work in production and your your work at like listening to other people's music helps you better write a song because now you know what doesn't work and what oh, might yeah. work just from sitting oh, yeah. around? Then, like kind of like you said, like as a producer, you kind of know a hit. So it's like he actually he helped me with the cadence on my verse, and then we both kind of like piece together like lyrics for it, and then yeah, it's sick. It's, well, listen, I'm no rapper. Like, that's not one of my secret talents that I know of. Like, I ain't tried it yet thus yeah. far. But if I could guess, I don't think I could rap. So even to hear you describe it, it's like, you make it sound really, really easy. I bet I could put you on the track. And it'll sound awesome. Mm-hmm. Don't challenge me. You know what? I'll leave, I'll leave it to the listeners. How about that? I'll leave it to the listeners and anybody that watches this interview. They could tell me if they want to hear Baker Barrel. Oh, yeah, something. they're going to be like, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they say that till I can't sing until I can't rap, and then they're like, "Oh damn, that's bro, so hey, shut right. up, I know, I know, like, I you sound sweet. Yeah, that's I that's know. the only way. <laughs> Put turn the auto tune on. Turn it up. <laughs> No, for sure, for sure. But you know, I, I will challenge. I will challenge the DMV to that. If y'all want to hear some, I'll. I, someone else can ghost write it because I ain't writing it either. Uh, <laughs> we can we can work on it. We can work on it. Um, but back to y'all, as far as music is concerned, I'm sure it's always excited to hear yourself win and not even be played on the radio, but winning. Like on your fifth night, what what were your feelings? Did you cry? Always ask people if they cry. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't cry. I'm not going to lie. So first night and fourth night, I was nervous. So the first night, it cranked. I'm like, yo, she got me going. Yeah, so he got Man. Me. So I even had bro up. I was like, bro, this show is nuts. So like, uh, I tapped in with uh, Royal Is Me and then uh, uh, I didn't cry. Like, I had texted him. I was actually in the session at night. So, like, I texted him when I was getting, like, text messages from other people saying they got in. I was like, hey, bro, I think we won again. And then <laughs> that was dope for sure. I would just want to thank everybody for that. And what about you, JMB? What would you yeah, feel? Uh, Are you just sure uh, you had it in the back from start to finish? <laughs> nah, I wasn't. Like, like he said, I was – I mean, because, I, like I said, I, I – I'm I'm real too. Like that 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 first night and that fourth night, the songs were good. Like the music definitely was good. It's like, man, I you know, obviously I feel like oh, I just can't can win. But if we gotta go out to to a record, like at least it's at least it's a good record, you know what I'm saying? But uh for me it just felt good to um just to be, you know, I think two years, I think last time I um uh, was on was like two years ago. So it was like for two years later to still be writing and working and like to have another creative idea that's solely separate be able to still resonate it's like all right bro like you guys you know what i'm saying you're working with something like just keep you know keep keep pushing and keep creating so it's well, good listen if if I, if my opinion counts for anything i definitely root for both of you again like being as i've seen you both in a creative space now two years apart you know what i mean still at the same thing still hustling still having an engaging fan base that loves what you do and are willing to go to the end of your track you know for you like that's commendable so i have no doubt that that'll take you far i will also say that i appreciate like uh you guys tapping out tapping in to royal is me just to say what's good to him you know, because KYS versus is a competition, but it's also a chance for you to learn about other fire records Absolutely. and fire people that are happening right here that you may not have found any other way. Absolutely. So, right. so for the rest of the year, do you guys anticipate that you'll take collabs and accept collabs? If anybody hits you on the gram right now, you're going to accept it or how you feel? Yeah, I've been uh, I've been playing beats and songs like throughout Clubhouse and every time like my DMs just kind of pop, like people, you know, send stuff off want to work so hopefully definitely want to have uh, a lot of hit records this year jmb you smile like you ain't taking features no nah, no nah, i'm just i'm just, I'm just <laughs> i was just laughing because you know people you know people can get real i don't want to say bougie but you know i mean it, i understand it's your art so you got to be selective to some degree um but uh for me i'm definitely looking to to do more collab and like it, it was so dope that i got to like songwrite and pen um, with it, with this record, dreaming because um, that's what my real passion is. You know, like I, I enjoy singing and playing the saxophone and stuff. But I really, I feel like I remember you saying that. Yeah, I really enjoy writing for other artists. So like, I have a couple projects and things that that me and Space are working on with um artists out in Atlanta, and um, you know, we're producing and I'm writing a project for her. Um, and just, I'm just trying to do more of that, like more collabs, more writing for other artists and talent, 
and just uh, I feel like we I feel like I've we have a solid idea of like what the sauce is and how to make good music. And now I'm trying to see like, okay, cool. Like, what can we do with this artist? And can we bring, you know, talent together? Um, well, you know, you're definitely applying your talents and I, and I see it coming to fruition, just being willing to wear multiple hats and just like, know that, know that you got it. Just know that you got the sauce for different things is super mm -hmm. important. And I'm definitely excited to see what the rest of the year will bring for you. Do you have projects that you're like willing to announce that you're working on right now that you got anything definitive so we could tap in? Is there anything like that? You, uh, what you got, space? Uh, so uh, I dropped, I dropped, a, I dropped a little EP on my uh, birthday in January, and then I do have a project for the summer. Mm, okay, it's a secret. It's a secret project, y'all. Y'all can't see it on the space, but it's a secret project. Yeah, yeah, okay, secret tomorrow. project. You know, I won't, I won't hold you to that. <laughs> but happy birthday! What's that project called? Appreciate it. Uh, it's called For the Fans. Uh, Dreaming was actually on it. Now, I don't even know if you know, like you broke dreaming. Like it wasn't even out. Oh, I, I love that. Yeah. And the, streams went, the streams went crazy the first week it was out, too. Yeah. Yes, sir. Like, yeah. <laughs> I broke the record. That's, I appreciate that. But all. Uh, no, I, I love that for myself, but I love that for y'all, too, <laughs> of course, you know. I no, I do love that because I mean, there's just something special about a DJ. Uh, again, that being my first art, you know to be able to break records. And they say DJs don't break records all the time, but you know, yeah, it's happening. For sure. We seem to happen. For you sure. heard it here first. Have it direct. And, um... Absolutely. Well, in the meantime, where can we tap in with you guys? Uh, JMB, did you tell me what you got? You, what you so got for us here? Um, I got a, I'm a, I already have like a couple features lined up that I'm a part of uh, for a couple artists that I'm, I'm hopping on some tracks with. Then I have like a couple of big records for myself. Um, my last couple of releases have been like up tempo, fun vibe music, but I'm I'm known for like, I guess like the relationship or like slower, more love type records. Too. Oh, so for a, sure, for sure. I got a couple of those heaters, like you know, what I'm saying in the cut that I'm ready to I'm ready to uh, send out. A couple of videos already kind of shot, so I'm I'm excited. I mean, I'm honestly excited and looking forward to 2021. Um, to be honest with you, even in the midst of all of this, so I'm excited. No, I'm excited to see what y'all will do. You know, I cheer for y'all. I definitely root I mean, for y'all. Um, in the meantime, where can we tap in with y'all? Show y'all love, hit you on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, you can follow me at Spaceman S L E across everything. And then you can uh you can find all my music and just anything that I got going on at J M B Music, and that's uh on everything, IG, you can find me there on Apple Music, Spotify, Title, all of that. So JMB Music is where you can find the support, man. And I do have to ask, you know, some people are not strong songwriters, other people are not strong producers, and those might be things that they need help with. You know, are you guys willing to accept people stepping in just to say like, hey, I need some help with a record? Are you accepting that, if, if it makes sense? Someone asked, yeah, because I feel like anything that's gonna put out needs to be great. So like, they're looking to my, advice to make something very one that's an honor and then too like yeah we're gonna we're gonna get it right yeah we're absolutely spending. absolutely <laughs> well um where who else do you guys want to shout out because of course you didn't do this by yourself people called in to win i'm sure you got a list of shout outs so i'll let you guys run them off um yeah i want to thank for real uh all my supporters because uh social media is definitely a funny game but all my supporters my family, immediate, extended, Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse family. Appreciate all of y'all. Thank y'all. Anybody for you, JMB? Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out, you know, my my parents and my little sister. They definitely was making sure they was tapped in and going hard. And I had my and my friends, you know, my loved ones, the ones that's really been supporting and um, you know, help push what we got going on. Like y'all know who y'all are. Like I love y'all. I mean, more than y'all know. Like I would have never thought. You know what I'm saying? Just when I started that, you know, we would be doing these type of things. So it's all just a blessing and a plus for real. So I appreciate y'all. Sure. Thank you again. <laughs> yeah, you too for the platform and just everything you're doing for the, the area as far as music and spreading positivity too, man. Like that's just dope, man. Like for real. Well, thank you. Thank you for giving me good records to work with. That's <laughs> all I can <could> say. Plenty <laughs> more. Absolutely. Well, Spaceman, do you want to do the honors of introducing your record that we broke right here on KYS yeah, yeah. for the very first time? Da -da 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 hey, this is Spaceman. You locked in with 93.9 KYS. This is our song, Dream. 
Pabon, Zen, Pini. Yes. Yes, sir! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Spaceman, JMB Music back at it with Dream. Yeah, yeah.